Is Tony gonna show up tonight? Tony? Clifton. I don't know. Jeez. Well, that must be one of Tony's fans. How do you know him? Well, I know that Tony Clifton shows up once in a while where you're performing. Yes, well, uh, he's uh, only on two occasions, really. You know, um... When you were on Dinah Shore, did he not walk on and throw eggs at Dinah? Okay, when I... I and you what were... I heard was that Tony Clifton was on the Dinah Shore show, and uh, he threw eggs at Dinah, and he was very rude, and he was late, and he had to be carried out by security guards, and he was mean to the audience. And what happened was, being that there's this rumor going around town that I'm him... Everybody says you I are, know. Tony And Clifton. so they, uh, all of a sudden, in all the papers, it said Andy Kaufman went on the Dinah Shore show and threw eggs at her and uh, was carried off by security guards, but I wasn't there. Hmm. Now, the thing is, the reason that this got started was because in 1969, I went to Las Vegas and I, to see Elvis Presley, and <coughs> in the lounge, uh, the next day, I saw Tony Clifton. Well, I didn't know who he was, but I just thought he was really funny guy. So a few years later in New York, I started imitating him. And as the years went on, I started putting on makeup and doing him as a character. But it was really an imitation of this guy I had seen. Now, uh, about two years ago in the comedy store in Los Angeles, I played there for four nights. And I would open for myself. I would, like, put on a wig and makeup and come out. And some people didn't know it was really me, but many people did. However, for one night, I thought for a joke, I'll get the real guy. Oh, I was there. You were there? I saw, yes, I saw Tony Clifton open for you. Uh-huh. That was just was that one it? night you did, he did. No, no, well, three of those nights it was me, and oh. one of them it was him. I don't know which one you were there, but anyway. Well, I saw and him. What happened was everybody, <laughs> oh, what happened was everybody. She may buy this, but I don't buy it at all. <laughs> no, no, but what happened was everyone Name somebody thought, who's ever seen you together. Oh, 2,800 people at Carnegie Hall saw us together. Sure, I did too. Because on I was the at same the stage, store. you saw a guy, Tony Clifton. Tony Clifton, and you saw Andy Kaufman on the same in stage. In between Tony Clifton and Andy Kaufman, there was a tap dancing school from Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. That was the in between. How act. did I miss that? Night? And then Andy Kaufman came out afterwards. But you so never I did. saw them on the stage together, together? at the no, same no. time. No, we well, do. they don't do that. No, we do. Um, oh, and, you do. And I didn't. The see only that. other time I ever worked with them was at the Huntington Hartford in Los Angeles and Carnegie Hall in New York. And we and it's on tape. We it's been shown on on the uh, cable TVs at home. Um, the Carnegie Hall concert has at the end Tony Clifton and I do a duet together. We sing nothing could be finer oh, than the so Carolina. That's so simple. I could do a duet with myself right now here. <clears throat> oh. But through the wonderful okay, uh, sophistication well, of our TAV people, equipment. Okay, fine. But 2,800 people who were witnesses there, live in the live place saw it. They'll swear to you that that's what they saw. I mean, there was me and Tony Clifton doing a duet together. But why would he, if you were booked on the Dinah Shore show, why would he go over and throw eggs at Miss well, What I don't really A know. A lovely I don't, lady. I don't know. All I know, what I think happened was that the Dinah Shore people probably presumed or assumed that it was me when they booked him. Because the rumor is that I'm him. So when they said, oh, we would like Tony Clifton, they probably thought that they were getting me in disguise. And what happened was they got the real guy, and he just totally tore the place into shambles. <laughs> this is true. I mean, you can have him on your show, and you'll tell me, you see for yourself if you think it's me. I'd I'd like I assure you, you won't. No I would problem. love to have him on my show. Can you arrange it? I can't arrange it, but you can find out who his agent is and, and just go ahead and arrange Where's it. Where's he appearing right now, for example? I have no idea. I don't hardly know him. Sure. All I've done is talk to him a few times, hello, goodbye, when he works with me, and that's it. I hardly know him. How come you never blink? Do you believe that whole story? Uh, As an actor and one who judges character. <laughs> you know, whether Tony's really alive or not? Yeah. I don't know Tony. I'd love to. Okay. Andy, I would okay. love to. And uh, if I'm in town, I'd be happy to prove it to you by coming here myself. <laughs> and you know, I'll be here with, with so, you. So Tony, and you would be... If you want. In right. Yeah? I mean, I don't mind. That now, you're not going to back out of this thing that'd be a, yeah. that you're going to do today. You are actually going to oh, yeah. wrestle a woman. Uh-huh. Why don't you ever wrestle a man? I'd rather wrestle a woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> we will be back after this message.